Hey Aries, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel Aries or Cross Watcher. It is always greatly appreciated. Uh, so October Aries. It feels like you guys are doing something very uh, discreetly, okay? Something is like very well planned out, strategic, or your guidance, your advice is to be that way in regards to whatever this is, whatever's taking place in October. Um, so the two songs I got for you guys was In the Night by Pop Smoke and um, Beat the Odds by Lil TJ. And it's just really giving... Um, like, I don't, I don't know if you have already like avoided something or like you're like majorly avoiding something in the month of October, or again, your guidance is to like, you know, you see it for what it is or to be aware, be attentive so that you don't fall in some sort of trap or get yourself in a, in a situation that you don't necessarily want to be in Aries. Okay. So um, yeah, that's what I got from the songs for you guys. We're going to go ahead and hop into it and see what comes out for you, what you need to know. If you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, it's something about like, um... Exactly this, like balance needing to be had or restored, okay, or um, established. So I'm getting like, I'm picking up on somebody who may be, um, you know, someone who is spiritual, but like there's a need to, yes, be spiritual and be, um, be alert and be aware and be skilled in the spiritual realm, but there's also a need to be all of that in the physical realm as well or thinking logically about something as well or it's it's almost like being book smart and street smart like you need a little bit of both airy so some type of way uh that resonates for you guys uh but yeah this is full moon and pisces energy so you could be on the cusp of like a pisces aries have it both in your chart you might have like a pisces moon sign okay venus um and at the bottom it says show the world the real you full moon and aquarius okay um or there's something about like your full potential. A lot of you guys have already like your you've already mastered this energy, okay? Or you've already mastered um something or balancing something out and in the month of October like you are really showing that to the world, you're showing that to people. You're very much so like in your element, you're shining at whatever this is that you're doing, Aries, okay? So kudos to, to you. I'm feeling the need to say congratulations too. So cuz it kind of feels like you're accomplishing something and maybe Maybe you've been very discreet with what you've been working on, what you've been planning, how you've been developing yourself, this project, this business, etc. But it's something about October for a lot of you guys, like it's launching or it's being revealed here. So um, and I'm getting the energy of like not telling people your plans. OK, um, and for some of some of you not telling people your blessings, like what is going good for you or what leg up you did get or what opportunity you got or you working on. It's something about like keeping a lot of that to yourself or you know, like you know who you can tell what to Aries or you're learning a, ma a like a major lesson in the month of October in regards to like a particular person or people in general. So let's go ahead and move on, see what else the Oracle has to say for you guys in October transformation okay yeah and pisces got this too so you could definitely have it in your chart relaxation i feel like you've changed so much aries and such over time for some of you guys in like such a short time or there's something that's just like developed and grown here okay so let's see wonders yeah so maybe you're reflecting on this you're realizing how far you've come um, or some sort of accomplishment, some sort of opportunity, something about life in the month of October is like really having you sit down. And I feel like you're very thankful, you know, for these blessings. You are feeling very blessed. Um, and I'm also hearing like it could have been you, like it could have been me. You telling yourself it could it could have been me. So I don't know if this is in regards to like a previous experience, you know, um, in the past Aries or something that's happening in October that you're avoiding, like you're dodging a bullet, you know, hopefully it's not you having to be in that situation literally, but it's like 
you just realizing how covered you are, how protected you are, how blessed you are. Like you think the way that you move or your upbringing, the skills that you have, however you were taught, like you're just very grateful for it, Aries. So yeah, power and new beginnings or like whatever this is, this could be like a, a move or a home, a car, like there's some sort of major accomplish that's coming up. Look at this success that's coming up here. Okay. So let's see spirit clarity confirmation for my Aries for the month of October. All right, action. That's your energy, Aries. Flexibility. Yeah, flexibility and action. It's like you completely like change something, change your life around, okay? Or there's something pertaining to that that's happening in the month of October. And we have adventures. The letter A could be significant, okay? Um, but I feel like you work so hard for this moment to get where you are, to get whatever this is. A Sagittarius could be significant, okay? And you have solitude here. And I feel like you did this on your own. Like, there's something about, like, you got something out the mud or you built something from the bottom up, okay? Built, not bought. It's something like that that's happening in month of October. You're getting a recognition, a reward. Um, you're feeling, like, just a, a huge relief here. Uh, Virgo energy could be significant. Wonders and flow. And a lot of you guys are like really in that mindset in October too. Like you're trying to figure out how to get to the next level. It's like the blueprint of your life, what's to come. A lot of y'all are planning for like next year now, okay, or the years to come too. Um, so yeah, Aries. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on to the psychic oracle, see what's to come for you. Look at this triumphant success. I'm telling you, there's something that you got out the mud, like you did it on your own, um, or you just faced so many challenges, like all odds were against you in regards to whatever this is, but you made it anyway, or you're making it anyway, you're graduating anyway, okay? No matter how small you may feel as if this accomplished is, or other people may try to like tell you it's not you know, that big of a deal. It is, okay? It is that big of a deal, Aries, because you're that big of a deal. So, yeah, spiritual union. It's important to you, and that's all that matters. Okay, so let's see. Truth. Mental conflicts. Clarity confirmation for my Aries spirit for the month of October. All right. Ooh, your third eye chakra. Intuition is, ooh, with the intuition. Intuition is on point. Okay, Pisces energy. A lot of Pisces energy is showing up here for you. Or you know what you know. I kind of feel like somebody's doubting you or they did doubt you. Like you never gave up hope or there's something about like you just never let go. You just knew there had to be a better way. You knew you was going to become this or accomplish this or something like that, Aries. And I feel like you are like you're doing it. It's here. It's here. Look at this chat. It's a, a lot of y'all graduating from something, okay? You're receiving some sort of certificate or this is like a spiritual evolution. There's some sort of glow up here. With this shadow card. Crown chakra, like on point. Truth. Like mentally, your mental strength is like out of this world. And I feel like as long as you have that, like nothing or no one can defeat you. Like it's a lot of determination that's showing up here, um, Aries. And that was heavily in a Pisces reading, being determined and transformation. And Pisces got transformation in their reading in the same placement, the same card. They also got it um, with the other Oracle deck as well. So like y'all are really fighting hard for something and something you've already like fought for Aries is showing up for you in the month of October. Suffering silence is at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are still in this energy of waiting for this big break, for this change to come, for something to be over to whatever this is. But the nine, so you're almost at that 10. Like all the signs are, are here. All the signs are pointing to yes. All the energy is like favorable for you in regards to whatever this is, Aries. So just hold on. Just keep on holding on because you almost, whatever this is, it's like you're you're almost there, okay? Or you are and it's just like heavily protected. So let's see, high priestess, Pisces energy, and it's something about your intuition, eight of wands. A, a lot of you guys too, Aries, like if there's an idea that you have, there's something that you're already thinking about, right? Or there's some sort of like epiphany or idea that you're having or something that you really want to go towards. You're feeling intuitively drawn to go towards it, to make it happen, pursue it, whatever, in the month of October, you need to do that, okay? Regardless of, and I'm here, don't tell anybody. I was going to say regardless of what other people may have to say about it, 
but keep it to yourself. Because I feel like something only makes sense to you is only for you. So maybe, I don't know, if it comes to like sharing this idea, sharing your resources, this is supposed to be for you, Aries. So take it and nurture it and grow it. Keep it to yourself, at least until it gets to a point where it's, it's already complete or whatever the case may be. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like there's something that has potential to bring you a lot of money, emotional fulfillment, Six of Cups. Okay, or there's something for some of y'all. It's like if this is in terms of love, there could be like a proposal or um, someone like you proposing, someone proposing to you or just some sort of higher level of commitment that you need to keep to yourself. Look at this, the higher thing with the lovers, some sort of higher level of commitment. This is a marriage. This is a commitment, a contract, relationship, the lovers, a relationship. Okay, a major choice here. Taurus, Gemini energy. And something, something is going to let you know that you write on the money, like you write on the right track, okay? Or you, you figuring this out in the month of October. All right, so let's see how I just got that confirmation right after saying it. It's like you write, you're right on it, Aries. Um, you're so close. If you're not there already, page of cups. Clarity confirmation for my Aries for the month of October, Spirit. What is it that they need to know? All right, so let's see. The moon card, okay. And again, secrecy or being discreet. Pisces, Cancer, energy. It's a lot of Pisces showing up here. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Knight of Pentacles. Or some of y'all are planning something for someone. Like if this is a masculine, I feel like somebody's like planning on proposing or something in regards to whoever this, this energy is, this Queen of Cups energy is. All right, Four of Swords. It's like, yeah, it's a lot about like not saying anything. Page of Cups, what you're planning, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Or some of y'all, it's like somebody might be the type to like, you know, have a surprise for someone or just working on something. It, it feels like it may be very hard for you to keep whatever this is to yourself, but there's a need for you to do so. What's the Four of Swords? What's the four of swords? Also, Aries, I was getting, um, so at the beginning, I was getting the energy of somebody might be really into someone else that's not looking for that. Okay. So some of y'all could be holding back from a particular energy, male or female. Um, somebody's like not looking to be tied down or in a relationship or whatever the case may be. So, uh, let's see. What's the four of swords? Somebody might have caught feelings here. They're catching feelings in the month of October. Especially with this moon card too, Queen of Cups, Four of Swords. Or somebody has feelings for another. I keep saying this name, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be significant. Somebody here is like, they were, are, however, it's like they were the type to like, never settle down to never fall in love or think they will fall in love or, you know, never think that they would do something here. And it's like, they're proving themselves wrong. Something has changed. Somebody has changed that for them, for you. What's the four of swords? The six of pentacles, the tower card. Yeah. The two of wands It's something that's changing here or a change of mentality, a change of like, um, someone or somebody has changed you or you've had this effect on someone else is also what I'm getting. Five of wands. What's the moon card? And it could be, um, I don't know. Some of you guys are like internally in conflict because it's like maybe you feel like you're um, contradicting yourself. OK, some type of way. What's the moon card? Or maybe you have been contradicting yourself no matter how, you know, minor or big. Um, but it's like picking a side, something about picking a side. But like you have to make a choice and pick a side. You can't have the best of both worlds, especially if this is somebody, if this is in terms of romance and it's like, you're not looking for a relationship, but you do relate relationship stuff. Like you the type to like do relationship stuff and make people feel like they're in a relationship, but you don't want the title or something like that. It's something about somebody needing to pick a side. Ten of cups, knight of swords, the fool card. This is your energy, Aries. Um, and I feel like 
there's something that you could possibly okay so i'm, I'm i feel like this is like going into a completely different storyline but i feel like um there's something that you've been avoiding running from maybe okay or something about like somebody here maybe not wanting love having time for love at a particular point in time they want to focus on their stability their money finances and it's like now they're able to come back around to a certain person and offer them love or now you know something like that or somebody's just so used to like work 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 and just being on the move um but there's a person that has changed their their entire like perspective of like life or love is also what i'm getting here all right what's this queen of cups something with family is significant like somebody might be wanting a family or a family to get back together what's this queen of cups yeah the four of cups the four of wands i had already saw the four of wands double fours so that number could be significant and the five of pentacles Now, someone else, too, I'm getting, like, um, if you are, like, in a relationship or, you know, marriage, heavily committed, like, somebody might be feeling um, neglected or not prioritized. Or somebody is just having a hard time allowing themselves to be open and vulnerable to whoever this is that has them feeling all of these emotions. Nine of Swords. Somebody's like afraid. Um, somebody might be like afraid to love or open up. Yeah, Eight of Swords. What's the Knight of um, What's the Knight of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Pentacles from my Aries? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I'm really getting like a lot of you guys. There's somebody here, you or someone else. It feels like it could be a masculine energy that um, is like trying to make sure like somebody is studying something or someone too. Like trying to make sure that this person is the right person or they are who they say they are. Like somebody wants to be extra sure before they make this decision or make this move. And maybe this is you analyzing a person or somebody's analyzing you because again i was picking up on the energy of like proposal and stuff like that all right so yeah four of pentacles somebody might want to sit you down have a major conversation with you the will of fortune with the justice and the judgment and the higher fence this is serious let me just see what this four of pentacles is so now you got four 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 that could be a confirmation in october aries What's this four of pentacles? With well, all major arcana back to back. Four major arcanas after the four of pentacles. Okay, so what's the four of pentacles? Ooh, queen of wands. The cherry is something about marriage, relationship, or proposal here. Going after what you love. Going after who you love. Six of wands. Or giving somebody what they deserve. Like somebody has like earned this, this energy, this recognition from you. Okay, Ten of Swords is at the bottom, Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, Two of Cups, or somebody's like really willing to like sacrifice or change or compromise in order to come in alignment with whoever, whatever this is, Aries. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the Patreon for all the extra perks that I post um, on a daily there. The link is in the description box below. And if you would like a private reading, Aries, that information is in the description box as well. All right. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.